Google Pixel 5, here it is, everything we know about the device. We've got the leaks and the designs and everything for you. In today's deals, the MacBook Pro 16 inch is up to $250 off, MacBook Air and Apple Watch 3 also off, and the Pixel 4a is back in stock at Amazon. If you wanna check that one out instead of all these new Pixel devices, everything as always are in the links below. This time, thanks to OnLinks, we get our first look at the Google Pixel 5 design and also the specs in the leak as well. And we know that the Pixel 4a has just been released and that Google do have plans to release a Google Pixel 4a 5G. So that's a, another mid-range uh, phone with 5G with the Pixel 5 launching at the same time with the same chipset. So getting into the Pixel 5 design, as we can see, Bye bye notch. That has gone, that huge thing at the top that Google put on there that was pretty ugly to be honest and just wasn't modern. Well, that is gone and now we have a pretty much full bezel-less display with a hole punch camera at the top left-hand corner. So the reason why the notch was there in the Google Pixel 4 and 4 XL was because of all the extra components that Google had to fit in there. They actually had 3D face unlocking, which is a very good thing to be honest. And also they had Solly, which was their version of miniaturized radar. And Google said that there were a lot of applications that Solly might be used for. So for example, you could make some small movements with your hands and then that would change certain things on the phone. So for example, you could change volume just by moving your fingers or you could swipe away notifications just by swiping your hand over the phone. It sounded really good in theory, but in reality, it just didn't really work that great and users just didn't really take it up. So, well, anyway, it looks like Google have listened. They've taken that away. They've also taken 3D Face ID away or their version of it. So no notch and you just get the single hole punch camera, which will have face unlocking, but obviously only 2D and not 3D. So this is actually a six inch OLED display according to this leak. Six inch, that is absolutely tiny. Also mentioned in the leak is a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So Google are really mixing things up here. A six inch display in this day and age is really small. 90 Hertz is a really good spec though. Just to give you all the information though, Ross Young also tells us about possible screen displays used in Pixel phones. He thinks that an upcoming phone that may be a Google Pixel device has a 6.67 inch display OLED with 120 Hertz. That really is completely different to the specs and the details we're getting in this leak, which show a six inch OLED display and what most publications are saying is a 90 Hertz refresh rate. If we do believe the OnLeaks leak, a six inch display is gonna be one of the smallest form factor phones in the Android world as a flagship smartphone from Google. Really smaller than anything I've seen in the last year or so, few years at least. And well, I do say flagship phone, we know really that this is going to be a mid-range chipset in a flagship phone type of body. So yeah, according to this leak, which has confirmed so many other rumors that we've heard, the Snapdragon 765G chipset in this one. The Snapdragon 765G is a 5G enabled mid-range chipset, pretty much the best you can get. There is a 768G that was released in China, but as far as I know, that has never been released anywhere else. And interestingly, more leaks around this one actually point to a six inch display for the Pixel 5, and then the Pixel 4a 5G, which is using the same chipset, coming in at a 6.2 inch display. So actually bigger, and we got some images, marketing images as well, of the two devices, which also prove this. Six or eight gigabytes of RAM have been given as the options, 15 watt wireless charging and five watt reverse charging, that's for the Pixel 5. And according to Android Central, a much bigger battery than we got in the Pixel 4 range. As you remember, the Pixel 4 didn't have the best battery life and a lot of reviewers definitely bashed the phone for it, but it looks like this is another thing that Google might be changing and making better into the Pixel 5. According to Roland Quant, 128 gigabytes base storage on these phones. He says he hasn't seen any 64 gigabyte variants. Coming to the CAD designs again from OnLeaks, and you can see on the back, 
Google may be the only phone brand in the world right now actually keeping a fingerprint sensor on the back. And then we come to the camera array, which is the same as before, two lenses in here. And again, according to Android Central, there is a change here. So the main camera, which is a wider angle, and then instead of the two times telephoto, Google are gonna be switching out for an ultra wide camera. That is according to Android Central anyway. Google has already confirmed the price of the Pixel 4a 5G in the States, at least at $500, again, according to Android Central. So what is the Google Pixel 5 going to cost? Well, it's a more flagship phone. You've got the uh, reverse charging, wireless charging that the 4a 5G probably won't get. Also a more premium design. So a little price bump for that, but it shouldn't cost too much more. And further to those leaks, we get some possible launch dates from John Prosser, who is fairly accurate with these things. The 30th of September for the Pixel 5 and Pixel 4a 5G. Color options, the Pixel 4a in black and white, and the 5 in black and green. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts on this phone. Do you think the changes are good or bad? Did you want something more premium with some extras in there, which this kind of isn't? Let me know all of your th thoughts in the comments as always. That's it for now though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.